Uh, yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to a quick little tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys the, uh, the basics of how to set up probability systems, uh, working with uh, percent chances, uh, stuff like that. So, this is going to kind of be split into two parts in this video, like a video that has two parts in it. First part is going to be me showing you it. Uh, for those of you that just want to get the tutorial done and then leave, and then I'm going to show you some examples of how you can use it. So let's just get into this. So I'm just going to name this real quick. Uh, probability tutorial. I spelled probability wrong because I'm an idiot. Uh, it's not important though. Okay, so let's set this up. So here's what, here's what we'll do. Let's say we have a sprite. Let's say, uh, I'll just call it the checker. I don't know. Okay. And then let's say here. Let's do something basic like this. Red for no, and green for yes. Okay. I'm nominating these costumes accordingly. All right. Okay. So, the sprite click, or when the green flag is clicked, we'll just have it go to the center. And show. And then I'll also um, I'll make one called waiting. Just make it gray. There we go. Uh, switch costume to waiting. Hey, fantastic. Now what we'll do is we'll work on actually setting up this probability system. So let's say whenever you press space, right? Whenever key space is pressed, we want there to be, say, a 50% chance to have this square turn green, right? So all you'll do is you could do something like this, say, you could say, if... one of two if pick random one of two equals two then switch costume to yes else switch costume to no right whenever you press space right you have the 50 percent chance but it's really hard to do that when you say say you want a 43 percent chance you can't really do it like this so say you want that 43 percent chance you'll set this to one in a hundred because the way percentages work is it's always a one through a hundred because one a hundred percent chance hundred percent chance being guaranteed and you know one percent chance being not guaranteed or very little to be guaranteed so you can even do this you can do zero out of a hundred right zero out of a hundred and then instead of this equals you could do this right you could grab a less than Okay, just like this. So if random one of 100 is less than, say you wanted that 43%, you do one more than 43%, 44. That means if it's any number beneath 44, meaning 43 down to zero, then it'll turn yes. If not, it'll turn no, okay? So now when you press space, you have that 43% chance for it to turn green. Okay, because you can even check it here. False, 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 false. So see, it'll pick around a 46, and then that 46 would not be equal, right? 99, okay? Stuff like this, you get it. So like, if you'd have like, see that 99, false, 91, false, 52. This is what it's doing, this is all it's doing. It's just setting this number. False, 45, false, 31 true right that's what it's doing so you want it to increase that chance make it an 86 percent chance then so you type 87 now when you press it, it has a much higher chance of being green right you can set a really low chance maybe a five percent chance so you type six and then you'd have that super low percent chance of getting it so there you go there's your probability system all set up right there if that's all you wanted, then you're free to go. But now I'm going to give some people who want some examples of stuff you could do with this. That's what the rest of this video is going to be. So let's get right into it. Hey there, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, me. Go subscribe to my second channel, DK Galaxy, where you can see me play games for hours at a time. I've recently started to post three videos a day there, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. I tend to swear a bit on those ones too, so if you're a little rebel edgy boy, that's a great place for you to go and hang out. But yeah, uh, anyways, back to the video. Say you wanted something, um, something like a, uh, you have a few things that you can get. And you want all the chances to line up. So you got to think about this. Then. So I'd make a comment. So what I like to do when I make stuff like this. Is say you have 
So you have 100 numbers to work with. So say you had the red, the green, and then say you also had maybe blue in there, right? You had a blue, okay, blue, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a yellow, maybe you had a yellow, uh, maybe a pink, Right, and then we'll end it with uh, cyan. Okay, so you have all these different options now, right? So what you could do then is split these up. So what do you want the highest chance to be? Say you want the highest chance to be a green. And say you want the green to have a 50% chance. Boom, 50% chance that it's green. Then what you can check for is say you want the next highest to be red and you want red to have a 15% chance. Or here, let's make it easy, let's make it a 20% chance. Then say you wanted the blue to have a 15% chance. You wanted the yellow to have a 10% chance. You wanted the pink to have a 5% chance. And you wanted the cyan to have a 1% chance. I think that's all the colors covered, yeah it is. So, what you should do is you should pull up a calculator just to make sure, set up all these rates as whatever you want right now, and then add these together. So we got the 50 plus 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. Okay, that equaled up to 101. So we're one over our limit. So what you can do is say you want, say let's 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 drop the chance of green. Let's drop the chance to a 59 or 49. There, boom. Now if you did that math, you'd have 100. Just make sure all your integers equal up to 100 which these do so now let's set this up so what we'll do is we will say so let's set it up like this what you can do is you can make a variable okay say you call this variable probability I did not spell probability right I put a comma in there there's definitely not one of those so you make a variable called probability okay you can set your probability to this pick random, right? Boom. This will let you check it multiple times in one script. Then what you can do is just pop that probability in there like that. So if your probability is, and now you have 50%, you have a 50% chance, right? Here, you don't even necessarily need this, right? You don't even necessarily need this. But we're gonna do it anyways. So probability what you might be thinking is to do this 50 or i guess 50 because it's 49 and yeah that would give you that 50 percent chance of getting it right so less than 50 you have zero to 50 completely knocked out you can't use them anymore okay but now when you make this next one right you need to have multiple things so you need to put an and in here too because you'll need to check if your probability is so 50 and then you're going to add your 20 that makes 70 so 71 right because you have to go one higher than always because keep in mind um if you're looking at it right now out of your 100 you used 49 of them you used 49 so that leave you with what is that 51 you have 51 integers left to use because you used the 59 right so you had 100 you minus 49 that got you 51 you have 51 integers left to use so you have to add that on top of itself though. So you took off the first 50 right here. You took off the first 50, but th all of those numbers are still there. I'm trying to explain. So you have your first one through 49 integers are set as green. Cause that's what this yes is. I'll, 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 I'll rename it to green in case that makes it easier to understand. Okay. Your numbers one through 50 are green, okay? So then you should make your 50 to 70, right? You're red because that's 20 more integers. But you can't just have that because that'll this. If you just have this, it'll also count all of your ones under 50. So you need to have less than 50 and greater than your 49. What's greater than 49? You just type in 49. It has to be greater than 49, greater than whatever your last number was. Okay, and that makes 50 to 70. Your 50 through 70 range. So if you had like uh, 65, so you had that 65. Actually, set your probability to that real quick. Oh no, not that. 
boom probability 65 you show that up there okay and then you are to oh boy go okay, check this it's true that, that that's really all we're doing right here okay and then it has the 50 percent it has the 20 percent chance to become red and then you need to do the next one you want to start from the highest percentage and then murky ways down to the lowest so now what we need to do is we need a 15 so we used we used 20 which got us down to so 50 minus 20 or 50 50 minus 20 would usually be 30 but we have that extra one so we have 31 you have 31 left to work with you gotta chop off 15 of them right let's chop off this 15 so 70 and then you go 15 up if you were to go tw so yeah 17 or 70 you go 50 up 15 up right that take you from 70 to 85 so you have 86 is your first number it has to be less than 86 but more than 70 right right so that gives you what do we have that as our blue our blue 15 right you have another one and after that now you minus 15 which gives you i'm not good at mental maths i'm sorry i'm 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 a <laughs> i'm a film major i'm not a math major dude 16 you have 16 left to work with i could have figured that out i'm really stupid wow that was that was bad on my part you have 16 left to work with i gotta chop off 10 okay chopping off 10 takes you from 85 which is your high number now 10 it's 95 so 96 but 85 because that was your last biggest integer that gives you yellow okay yellow let's do it again now we minus 10 leaving us with six left to work with now we gotta chop off five so how do we do that so it needs to be so 595 i did math wrong here somewhere where did i do math wrong here it's less than 50 49 oh right here these need to be down yeah this all needs to be down because we had a 49, not an actual perfect 50. Yeah, that'd do it. So, okay, here, here we are. Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. Makes more sense. Six to work with. So, 95, which would leave us at 99. Less than 99, but more than, what would that be, 94? 94, I think, yeah, 94. And that gives you, is that our pink? Yeah, pink. Pink one more since there's only one left you could just do equals 100 right because it's a one percent chance so let's just do that probability equals 100 you set it to cyan and you can close this off and then boom here's your little probability check right here let's run it and see what we get <laughs> yo what are the odds i just hit a one percent chance right off the bat dude what what dude the chances okay 89 it gave us 89 which gave us a yellow so let's look at what that is yellow is not is less than 95 which it is 80, 89 but more than 85 89 there you go pink all right that was our five percent chance green or 50 percent chance green yellow 10 percent red 20 percent blue 15 percent green 50 for nine you get it and then boom you have this huge checker that checks this big amount of things so i'm gonna leave the tutorial here uh i think you understand what kind of stuff you can do with this in theory you can make this number even higher you can go to a thousand and then just split up the percentages in different ways it doesn't need to necessarily just be 100 but hope this was helpful Thank you so much for watching. If you like to like it and like it, like it anyways, because I hope you can make something pretty cool with this. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to the channel and join my account that I made a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.